I want to talk to you real fast about intentions and setting our intentionality. And so the reason why we want to set our intention before we start getting involved into an activity is it, it really helps a couple of things. One, when we have our intention set, it really allows us to alleviate fear. It gets judgment out of the way and the selfishness that kind of brews up when we achieve our goals begins to diminish because we understand that our intentions were for the greater good. And when we can look at that and we can understand that and when we can achieve that meaningful life, it really makes a big difference. And so how do we set our intentions? The very first thing I would say is what is it that you want to achieve? And if you can look at what you want to achieve, that's a great starting place. And so once this goal is there, what is it that I want to achieve from performing this activity? And the second thing that we want to look at, so after we get into this idea of, of, of what is it that we want to achieve, where is that achievement rooted? Why do I want to achieve this so desperately? If there is, again, a great cause that's lining through that, that's still a good thing. We're, we're actually having great intentions about the activities. The third thing is, is it pure? Is it virtuous? Is the thing that I want to achieve, what it's rooted in, is it pure and is it virtuous? And if I can answer those three questions in the positive, then really I've set my intentions in the proper space. Now, there's a couple other reflective things that are great to think about. So what happens when I achieve this? Like what happens when there's the achievement is accomplished? If that still is aligning in, in greatness and goodness in, in, in virtuous and pure and truth, then we're still in alignment with the intentionality of why we want to uh, perform this activity, right? And then the very last thing that I want you to be able to do is understand where is the balance in it? So once the achievement is there, is there a yin to my yang? When I accomplish it, is there a mutual benefit somehow? Is there a win-win? Is somebody else gaining when I gain? If we can line those things up and they, all of those things are true, then your intentions are set properly and your intentions are correct and your activity, in all honesty, will be prosperous regardless of the outcome. And so if the opposite is true though, like, and, and this is the caution, if the opposite is true, if, if the root of it is in something that's selfish and that's brewing outside of a greed, it will have some challenges. There will be some challenges. You may find accomplishment and yet there is always going to be a challenge when we look at our intentions and our, our intentions are malaligned with really what our cause is. And so my goal for you in this one moment, how do we set our intentions? And then how do we keep our activities moving forward so that then our goals are, are achievable in a way that brings a meaningful life, that we have that life by design? I hope this helps you, I hope this makes sense. Set your intentions and set them on course for the good, for the better, for the cause.